94th edition of Mid County Madness. Nederland trying to hand PNG their first loss of 2017. It was the Bulldogs getting on the board first when Blazin Fernandez finds Kevon Latulis, who's going to split the secondary and go 59 yards to the house. Big Ned takes a 7 0 lead. Indians respond. University of Texas commit Rashawn Johnson rumbling his way in from one yard out. We are tied up at seven. Late in the second quarter now, still tied up at seven. Fernandez has his pass deflected, but it lands right in the arms of Latulis. He hauls it in, 14-7, Nederland leading at the break. Third quarter now, Johnson from one yard out again, his second score of the night. We are tied up at 14. Nederland, though, they just kept on bouncing right back, and it's Devin Simmons this time bouncing it to the outside. Nice move there. little stiff arm action. He refuses to go down. He's in the end zone. It's a 20-14 Nederland lead after a missed extra point. Sure enough, it's Johnson on the other end from one yard out for the third time tonight. Touchdown extra point is good. It's 21-20. Then you guessed it. Johnson from one yard out again. Extra point good again. It's 28-20 PNG with eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. Could they hold on? The answer, no. Because here comes Simmons from 31 yards out. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, 28-26. So the dog's going for two. And Latulis is going to get it for him. He's into the end zone. 28-28, 535 left in the fourth quarter. But on the other end, yep, Johnson, 10 yards out. Rashawn Johnson gives PNG a 35-28 lead with 136 remaining in the fourth. Nederland, though, with one last shot, and they're going to take advantage of it. Fernandez in the shotgun. Pump fake finds Latulis over the middle, 15 yards out, 35-34. Nederland going for two, going for the win. It's Colton Beeson. Beeson with the catch, and Nederland stuns PNG. Your final 36 35. The Bum Phillips Trophy going back over to Bulldog Land. All right, first of all, congratulations. I mean, you've been part of this game forever, but the first time as a head coach, and you know, what are the emotions going through you right now? Well, you know, I being able to play in it and be a part of it as assistant coach and the head coach. There's nothing more satisfying than this right here. When you're with a group of guys since last January that, that worked together for a common goal and they come out and, and achieve that goal, just you know, making the playoffs, but then to have this for the rest of their lives, I know what it feels like. Uh, I happen to look, we lost this game my senior year, so uh, we still sit around and talk about that. This is something they'll be able to hold on forever. Let's talk about Kevin Latulis. I mean, He's a big-time performer and another big-time performance out of him tonight. He is. You know, we, we, we hoped all offseason that's what he would become, and he did that. He became what he is out on this football field. It wasn't just something he was given. Uh, he took advantage of what God gave him and made, it even, made himself even a better player working his butt off. I love the aggressiveness, going for two. I mean, y'all already decided, right? Oh, yeah, we decided. Well, you know, the least amount of times we got to line up and stop number two, the better. So I didn't think overtime was maybe the best option. <laughs> and finally, you know, after doing the math, carrying the one and seeing who beat each other, it looks like you're possibly going to play Porter in the first round. How, how long do you celebrate this one and, and, uh, until you start looking at the Spartans? Well, you know, as coaches, we'll, we'll start tomorrow and, and through the weekend. Hopefully these kids can enjoy this. They deserve it. They've never had trouble this entire year, you know, focusing in on what they need to do, you know, through a hurricane and, and a short schedule. They've been able to refocus like that, so I, we're not worried about that. All right, Latulis, you know, how's it feel to be a hero in Nederland right now? Um, it feels good. All I got to do is give it all the glory to God. When you were in this one, I mean, it was a back and forth slugfest. You just kept coming up with big plays. Did you did you wake up this morning feel like it was going to be a big day? Yes, sir. Most definitely. It's the biggest game in, in Texas. And you know, I had to, we had to come out with a bang. Now, this afternoon around 1 o'clock, y'all officially got in the playoffs when Central had the forfeited game. Did y'all know about that? Did y'all care about that? Or y'all just focused on this one? We knew about it, but we didn't let that face us. We knew we had to come out with this dub. What does this one mean to you and your team as you head to the postseason? It means, it means everything. We train, we train all year long 
for big Friday night games, and this was one of them. And last thing, you know, after, well, as I say, doing all the math, carrying the one and all that, looking at all the games at 21-5A, looks like you will face Porter in the first round. And how excited are you to, to be in the postseason and taking on the Spartans? It's going to be my first playoff game I ever played in my life, so I'm ready for it.